Saturday's task will not be an easy one as the Trojans will take on Southern Miss. First, defensively for the Trojans, they'll need to get after it. Well, we've got we got to figure out a way to get pressure on the quarterback, and and then we've got a the running back. I think everything starts with their offense with with Edo Smith at running back. Coach Brown went on to name a few of the Golden Eagles players his defense will have to keep an eye on. Their offense really starts with their center. He's a dominant player up front. Um, really impressed with him. Um, as impressed with him as any old lineman that we've seen. Their quarterback, Nick Mullins, uh, from Birmingham, is, has been a really accurate passer. He won in high school. He's, went, he's won at Southern Miss. And Edo Smith, another Alabama guy at running back, played really well last year. Has followed that up, played, had a big game against Kentucky. Um, and then they have a wide receiver, Isaiah Jones, who, who we had on an official visit here. He's made some big plays for him over the top. And that's only one side of the ball. When the Trojans have the ball, it's an aggressive Southern Miss defense to watch out for. Defensively, they're multiple. Uh, they're really aggressive. Uh, Jay Hobson, their head coach, is a defensive guy. They play with a, with a really uh, uh, a lot of team speed. They've got, a, got some edge about them defensively, and you see that a lot from, from defensive-minded head coaches. However, regardless of what Southern Miss has, and despite the 7-1 and one record all-time over the Trojans, this Saturday could spark a change in the tide. Overall, I, thought th I think this is a great game for us. This is a series that I would like to see continue. They come back here on the flip side, but it's a game that, that our fans really enjoy. I'm expecting a lot of Troy faithful to turn up in Hattiesburg.